about the future. That's right, Poker Ranger Unico. And if you guys see all these all these mod swords in the chat. All these mod swords are awesome broadcasters, uh, people that I absolutely in enjoy watching and I'm inspired by. So please give anyone with a mod sword in the channel a follow, including Poker Ranger, who's an incredible glass blower here on Twitch, who just got partnered, who just got partnered, and he's he's deserves all of the love. Still confused, eh, Moth? Well, that, that's that's kind of the, the idea of a secret broadcast, is not everyone's going to get it. But the people who do understand what's happening are going to be here and, and contribute and help out. Crazy Mike, thank you so much for that follow. You are an amazing Stardust Meatball, and together we can create anything with the Amalgamate of Consciousness here on Twitch. Today we're tapping into that Amalgamate of Consciousness. <gasps> Siri, did you just say it's 6 o'clock? It's 6 o'clock, you guys. Bello TV, you are an awesome acrylic painter. Thank you so much for that follow, you amazing Stardust Meeple. Everybody give Bello TV a follow. I get it. That's right, Ink One. I'll, see all those mod swords? Look at all that mod sword wall right there. Give them all follows. Russo is also a broadcaster. He does acrylic stuff here. There is no filter tonight, so expect there to be mature content and potentially non-PG-13 content. I usually do PG-13 content here on my channel, but there's there's something amazing I want to share with you guys. And look at this community. Look at this community in the chat. We have we have broadcasters that broadcast acrylic, oil, glass blowing, uh, digital work. We have tattoo artists. There are so many people out here. There's sculptors, there's illustrators, there's woodworkers. We have a, a vibrant community of artists here on Twitch, and we're joining forces together to make the creative section an incredible and amazing place. And the reason we're doing this broadcast here today is this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a change here in the creative channel where we're, we're building each other up, we're, we're making something different, not only on Twitch, but that's never happened before. So I want you guys all to please feel free to say, to speak your minds. We do, I do always ask that you guys be kind, constructive, and awesome. You guys can swear tonight, you guys can say your mind, say your passion. We are going to be sending this off to Twitch staff, so please keep that in mind. Be respectful at all times of Twitch staff. First off, what can the broadcasters do to shape the future of creating on Twitch? Creative, music, game development, programming, and talk shows. This is the first question. Please spam the channel with all of your ideas for what can the broadcasters do to shape the future of creating on Twitch. We're already doing community projects. We're already doing uh, raids to promote the smaller streamers. We're doing all of the stuff to make creative stream teams, not only the stream teams that exist now, the design dolls, uh, but we're working on creating the creators, a stream team that doesn't have a restriction on medium or uh, follower counts or anything like that. We, are, we are, are creating something amazing here, but we need, to do, we need to act. We need to do it together with Twitch and with each other. So what can we do as broadcasters to shape the future of creative we have to come together and, and make a community here on Twitch that's different from anywhere anywhere in the world. We can do things like create live tutorials. We can do uh, projects where we, we do charity and fundraising events. Uh, we can sell our work uh, digitally to people who care about it and are supporting the artist directly. There's so much stuff we can do uh, in the creative channel. And Intigor, this is the beginning of a revolution. You guys are absolutely, absolutely right. Absolutely, you guys. Uh, Nifner, yeah, we've been trying to get the Twitch creative uh, hashtag going. We've been trying to get the the Twitch creative hashtag going. And one, one reason for that is to kind of track the progress of the movement uh, in the Twitch creative section. But it's also it's also to make it so that if someone is searching on Twitch, they can find us, uh, which is why I recommend you guys should always include uh, what medium you're working in in your title. Don't just have a goofy title 
Uh, you can have that goofy title, but just at the end of it, you want to put "I'm doing painting," "I'm doing drawing," and you could do you could do hashtags uh, since it gets posted on Twitter. Uh, always put tags um, because one thing one thing about the creative section on Twitch is that there there is a giant user base of gamers that doesn't know this place exists. So one thing we can do is we can kind of market ourselves. On Twitch. I mean, if you go up, if you just scroll up to the top left, you'll see that little search icon. And if I was to go in there and type oil painting, I would find pretty much nobody doing it. We have to, we have to start labeling ourselves. And maybe one one thing that I saw uh, and that was brought up is this. Uh, if you look at, oh my gosh, that's huge. So if you look at the CS:GO section. Uh, they have a they have a sorting me mechanism up here. Uh, imagine if this said painting, oil painting, acrylic, tattoo. Uh, right now, there's over a hundred broadcasters broadcasting right now in the creative section, and we don't want to split them up. We don't want to take take the community and divide it up into different communities. We want to label our channels so that people can find uh, the ones that they want to watch. A filter for creative, absolutely, and and they already have it in place. They already have it in place. Uh, we need to show them that we want this. So I, if you guys want, you guys can like uh, a title is like uh, Tuesday tutorial, and I'm doing I'm doing painting. And what what that allows people to do in the search function, and and when people start realizing that Twitch is not just for gaming, they're gonna start searching for painting or 2d traditional oh yeah see Morin creates that's a, that's a wonderful way to do it as well uh because it opens it up it's not like separating separating it out into a hundred different categories cs no yeah absolutely uh, so i i you guys have some incredible ideas i've been listening to you guys trying to compile them together uh this talk show is going to be our our chance to do that um for twitch to shape the future Painting, digital, tattoo, sculpting, absolutely. I like how you spelled sculpting like death sculpt. <laughs> Alright, so let's 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 go on to the next topic, which is kind of similar. It's very similar. It's what can Twitch staff do? What can Twitch staff do to support us as artists? What can they do to support the blacksmith who hasn't heard of Twitch before? Uh, what can they do to support a a person with zero viewers that gets rated uh, by 4chan, what can they do uh, to not only protect how how amazing the creative section is now, but to help that grow into something even more amazing and even more beautiful? What can Twitch staff do to help us show the world that there is live art being made right now by hundreds of people, and and it is an amazing place of creativity? <laughs> Creative feature on Twitch Weekly. Yeah, that's it. We could definitely think about uh, asking for a highlighted game. Um, let's see, where is it? I wrote it down here. I guess I didn't write it down. But basically, uh, they could highlight creative maybe in a... Oh, here it is. Let's play creative. Maybe they do something like that where... Uh, each day of the week, they focus on a different one. Maybe it's creative on Monday, music on Tuesday, and it goes through the smaller channels that are just developing, that are just showing up. To give us a better logo, yes. So this is one thing I wanted to bring up. This is one thing I wanted to bring up. Um, it's it's kind of good that it's a paintbrush to say, hey, there's painters on Twitch. It's, it's the wrong paintbrush. It, it's more of a house painting paintbrush. And it's also exclusive. Uh, it doesn't show that there's digital artists out there. It doesn't show that there's sculptors out there. It doesn't show that there's woodworkers out there, glass blowers. One thing that I, I'm going to recommend to them is maybe they do something fun with our kappas. Maybe you're an, a, a perler and you want to say, hey, I'm doing perler on Twitch. Maybe you just hit a little, a little check mark and you, you, then your icon becomes the Perler Kappa. Or maybe you're doing Photoshop work and it becomes the, the Mona Lisa made in Photoshop. Or if you're doing painting, it's the painted Kappa. This, this would be a really fun way to connect it with the rest of Twitch. 
not separating out the sections, and it, it would also give you a, a visual way to say, this guy's doing perlers, this guy's doing painting. Uh, a professional artist painting of stream if you want to make music. Uh, well, Jay Bella, one of the amazing things about Twitch is as long as you're passionate about what you do and you show that passion, that's the best way um, to get viewers and to, to find find people. Uh, be passionate and the followers will, co will, will come. <laughs> I love that the perler. Absolutely, Alien It's a wonderful perler. Uh, Ruzo, they could rotate through the kappa or they could rotate through the self-portraits that we're working on. Um, an another thing is maybe you guys have ideas for um, a way to show a logo that has, um, has it, it includes a lot of different mediums. Like maybe it's a cup full of paintbrushes and crochet needles and pencils and a Wacom pen. Uh, and maybe some sculpties on the ground and there's like some knitting there. There, there's so much they could do to include all of the amazing stuff that's happening here in the creative section. And by the way, if you guys don't know, all of the mods are artists and awesome broadcasters. Please give them all follows. And you guys are you guys are bringing up so many amazing points. And even though I'm not seeing them, this is going to be this is recorded. Uh, for Twitch staff, so they're going to be able to read what you guys are saying. Uh, they'll be able to pause the video. This is for the future, as well as for here and for right now, to have an awesome discussion about the future of the creative section. Uh, and a, and another thing you could also do um, with the with the logos collab for a creative logo alien ton that would be uh, that's something we can bring up absolutely bring that up uh, with twitch staff um because th you know what there's only like what 300 400 twitch staff they can't they can't focus on all of the things that are happening on twitch right now i mean twitch is absolutely blowing up and the creative section is a part of that but they're busy twitch staff is so busy they need they they can use our help all of the creators all of the the musicians all of these kind of folks can can be tapped into to create something for the creative section kind of like a home home brewed creative movement <laughs> all right so let's go on to the next one let's go on to the next question here how do we show the world the live art that is being made right now uh right now we're doing the community projects we did the create a kappa uh mosaic that's finished. We're going to be we're working with TwitchCon to display it uh, at in San Francisco. Uh, we're we're also working to create a giant mosaic so it can be displayed online, and uh, we're also going to be using that momentum from that project to do one every month. We're doing a monthly community project. Uh, next month is going to be create something inspired by a broadcaster. Uh, thank you so much for that host ink. So create something inspired by a broadcaster in August is supposed to bring the, the greater Twitch community into Twitch Creative. The Create a Kappa project was an incredible success that brought creative together into this community where we now know each other. We now support each other in ways we didn't just a month ago. Uh, so July was about fusing the, the, the community together. August is about bringing the greater Twitch community in. And September, we're going to be challenging you guys to find someone you know or someone you respect and say, create something in one hour on Twitch. A way to bring users from outside of Twitch into Twitch and especially into the creative section. People that are the professionals out there that didn't know there was live broadcasting of your, your art and your passion. Oh my gosh, I have to mute my speakers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the follows, for all the hosts. You guys are all incredible and amazing human beings made of stardust. This is a little different show today. We're doing, oop, let me hide that. We're doing a talk show about the creative section. Right now we're talking about how do we show the world the live art that is being made right now. And I know I'm missing chat, but that's fine. It's being recorded so that we can take a look at it later. There's so much going on from all of you awesome artists out there. And uh, Leet Sauce, absolutely, absolutely a uh, good idea. Lessons are an incredible, incredible way to bring new people in, uh, especially people that didn't know 
uh, that it that it existed when you say, "Hey, did you know that you can learn how to paint right now?" If you go into this guy's channel and ask him ask him a question, advertise in professional journals. We could definitely do some outreach uh, as a community, especially since we're 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 so big right now. If if we all kind of used our our artistic abilities, our musical abilities, we could create advertisements for the creative section and display them on Twitch or maybe even on on uh, television, or who watches television? But on, on Twitch, we could we could create a commercial broadcasting that you can put down the controller for a minute and open a portal and watch someone paint in oil, and and learn from them, learn how to create and learn how to make art. And eternity waits. Absolutely, highlighting these projects, especially since there's pro there's there's partnered broadcasters. All of the pro the partnered broadcasters out there: Val Dudes, Gil Gears Art, Death Sculpt, Miss Cookies, that Danish guy, C Not Bush, and a, f a bunch more. All of these artists have never been uh, highlighted on the front page that I know of. Please correct me in chat if I'm wrong. Uh, but why why aren't why haven't these people been uh, highlighted on the front page? They're gamers. They they game on stream as well. Val Dudes plays games. Miss Cookies plays games. See Not Push plays games. These are gamers on Twitch. They should be highlighted on the front page and show and shown to the world that look at this amazing art. See Not Push has been on the front page. Okay, thank you for correcting me, Marine Creates. We need more. We need more. And one thing, uh, if it's hard to select uh, one person to highlight, you can also highlight uh, the entire creative section. Uh, you could highlight the creative category as as a game. Let's play creative, and then you could do it for music and programming and stuff like that. <laughs> More people, I'm so glad all of you guys are here. Uh, we're we're having a discussion right now about the future of the creative section. So please feel free to share your ideas, whether you're a broadcaster or a viewer. All of the mod swords are artists. If you guys don't know all of the mod swords talking, please give them follows. They're all incredible human beings made of stardust, and they're amazing. Please give them follows. <laughs> and and Poker Ranger, did I not put Poker Ranger on that list? Hang on, hang on. We need to, we need to edit this post. Poker Ranger, the newest the newest sub, the newest partner here on Twitch. He deserves everything. Partner, wait, Poker. Poker Ranger sixty nine. If you guys don't know Poker Ranger sixty nine, give him a follow. The newest partner here on Twitch, absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible that th your channel is blowing up and the creative community is being found by all of these other all of these other uh, people on Twitch. Uh, so this this was also another idea I wanted to bring up uh, to you guys. Um, you guys have also brought up the idea of having the game section, the music section, and the creative section be separate from each other. I'm I'm kind of scared about doing this for for one reason uh, because I know there is a uh, I don't want to say stigma. I don't want to say stigma, but it's definitely uh, there's a there's a presence online that Twitch is for games. Twitch is for games, and then when you try to tell people about the music section, the creative section, or something like programming, which has only been around for about a month, uh, if you tell them about these sections on Twitch, they almost laugh you off, like that's not going to be around for a while, or they're not serious, or this is this is not something that's supported. Uh, we've we've shown that difference. We've sh uh, Poker Ranger got over 100, almost 100 subs in one night, the first day he got partnered. We're we're showing the support to these artists and musicians and programmers, all of the creators on Twitch. We're showing the support that they need to keep broadcasting here. We need a way to show the world that you can do this on Twitch. It, Twitch is not just for games. Twitch is for showing your passion. For, for playing, and for finding a community of like-minded, passionate people. That's what Twitch is to me right now. Twitch is, Twitch is a place where I found the best community I have ever found anywhere in the world. And, and we need to show the rest of Twitch and the rest of the world that we're creating all of this awesome art here live right now. We are going to take over. Unico, absolutely right. Another streamer who's been blowing up in the last two weeks. He's gotten over uh, a thousand followers in the last two weeks. 
Uh, he's an incredible artist and deserves all of the t all of the attention, if not more. Th there is so much stuff going on in the creative section right now. More sharing of the creative channel. Absolutely, Jay Bello. And thank you guys so much for all of those follows. I know I'm missing all of the follows, all of the hosts. I love all of you Stardust Meatballs. Thank you guys so much for being here. Are you guys ready for the next question? You guys seem to be going off on this one. How do we show the world that live art is being made right now on Twitch? And you guys are, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for contributing to this discussion, uh, which we're going to show to Twitch staff uh, on Wednesday. And, and they're listening to us. They're absolutely listening to us. And, and it's incredible. It's an incredible place here on Twitch. And Maureen Crates, uh, that's something that they've brought up. They don't necessarily like the idea of, of the creative channel uh, going and broadcasting content in another game. They, they do allow it, uh, but I think what we want to do is, is keep the creative community as a tight-knit community. Uh, because when you have someone making Mario fan art that splinters off and goes into, the, into maybe Mario 64 and no one's playing it, uh, that artist is not only going to get lost, but they're going to kind of separate themselves from the greater creative community, which which Twitch Twitch is okay with. Uh, they've said publicly that they're not going to force you to move, but they they do want you to keep it relevant to the game. But but we should stay as a creative community. We should label our channel in better ways. Label the the header. Uh, if you're a painter, you should say you're you're painting in the title. Uh, if you're doing fan art of something, you should say that in the title, so that if someone is searching for Dark Souls, and you're doing a Dark Souls painting, it'll come up in the search. And hello, all of you guys. I'm so sorry I'm missing out. Chat is absolutely blowing up. The Mod Sword Wall, all of you amazing broadcasters are, are incredible. And and tweets and retweets are, are one of the best ways to give shoutouts uh, offline and off of Twitch. So if you guys see someone go live, someone that you've been watching and enjoying, we we need to start retweeting a storm out there, and we can use we can use hashtags to our advantage to to plan this revolution, to seed this revolution out there. <laughs> yeah, and and what what would be amazing is to do that Dark Souls painting, to uh, have it as uh, have it in the creative section. And then have people from Dark Souls come into creative. Uh, because if you have a Dark Souls painting in the Dark Souls section, that's not what people are looking for um, when, when they want to go look at a game. Uh, so that's probably the best way to advertise it is to do it within the creative section and try to pull viewers in uh, in other ways. Uh, in getting shared on Twitter um, and doing the, the projects that we have, uh, the community projects. All right, guys, so we were just talking about how do we show the world the live art that is being made right now. If we've skipped a question, uh, you, you weren't able to say all that you wanted to say about it, uh, please go to that. Oops, <laughs> that's not a website. That's not a website. There we go. Talk show, future of creative. <laughs> Uh, Miss Paste. So if you want to uh, add to this discussion, please feel free to go to that link and reply to the thread. All of this is going to be watched by Twitch staff. So as always, please be kind, constructive, and stay awesome, and always be respectful, especially to our Twitch overlords. You guys are so amazing for being here today. Let's go on to the next question. And if you guys missed any questions, you can reply to the thread. So here, this, is, this was kind of a question that kind of ties in with how do we show the world. But without challenging the core group, Twitch is just for gaming. How does one go about creating, wait, how does one creating on Twitch, how does creating on Twitch tie in with the rest of the Twitch user base? And this is stuff that we're, we're kind of thinking about with the community projects, but we need your guys' help uh, for, for figuring out new ideas. So if you have an idea of how to advertise the creative section with a community project, you can go to the creators on Twitch website post a, a community project and that's a way that we're going to build community here in the creative section but also show the world what we can do uh, by painting other broadcasters, making emotes, uh, fan art, all of this stuff to bring in 
uh, attention from the rest of Twitch in here. So if you guys check out the community projects, we have some about tutorials. If you have a tutorial that you want to post, uh, we just did the Create a Kappa contest, a mosaic. I always call it a contest. The Create a Kappa mosaic was an incredible success. We had over 80 Kappa, and we're going to use that in a banner to advertise the creative section. But also check out the, the one we're doing this month, uh, the August project, Create Something Inspired by a Broadcaster. And this is going to be a way where you say, hey, I really appreciate you as a streamer. Uh, you're an inspiration. And here's also a plug for you, why I like you, and everyone should check you out for this reason. It, and it serves a third purpose where you're bringing attention from that broadcaster to the creative section. So this project's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have so much fan art uh, from all the streamers on here. And there's no limit. No limit on how many times you can make uh, something inspired by a broadcaster. I don't know if you guys have seen my room, uh, but you guys have inspired me to create so much. And uh, th this was the inspiration for the project. All of you guys, I mean, Ink One, Proper Artists, Death Sculpt, Z Lady Luthien, Tiger Writer, uh, all of the viewers out there who helped me design my emotes. Twitch is a place where you can draw inspiration from the people around you, but we need to show everybody that that's happening live in the creative section. So if you guys have ideas for how to do uh, some community projects, please share it in the chat right now, or you can go on to creatorsontwitch.com, which is kind of cut off there, creatorsontwitch.com, uh, to sign up for a username, and you can check out all the projects we're working on. Whether or not you're a viewer or a broadcaster, you can be, you can be both as well. <laughs> And if this is also a wonderful place, uh, if you've never thought about broadcasting, post an introduction and say what you want to do, and you're going to find you're going to find that instant user base of people saying, "Hey, if you do this, I will watch you." Uh, it's a great place to find support from other streamers and to connect together with other people. A shop linked to an artist. Uh, one thing that Twitch has has said is that all sales uh, they they don't want to get involved with. Uh, and I totally understand that. It's like a liability thing. So if, if all of the artists out there have like an Etsy page or Redbubble, Twitch is, is, is the best place to advertise that. Use Twitch as the advertising medium for your Etsy page, for your Redbubble, um, for your eBay auctions. Whatever you have um, to support your art, uh, to support yourself, you can share it on here in a, in a really awesome way. All right, so let's go broadcaster announcements. Uh, I, I talked about the community projects you can post on here uh, to, to bring not only the, the creative community together, but also to show people what to do. Uh, there's also a uh, broadcaster announcement section. Maybe you're doing a special game of Pictionary uh, and you want to advertise it. This is the place to do it. This is where I have the, uh, the creative talk show that we're going to be doing this Friday. Um, August 7th, uh, highlighting the female broadcasters. And please feel free to post uh, your ideas for talk shows, your ideas uh, for for uh, your channel uh, here to advertise it for you guys. Let's go on to the next topic. So we've talked about a lot of this, actually. You guys are going through this list. I thought this was going to take about an hour to get through. Let me think if, if there's anything else. Uh, if, you, if you're if you in a creative stream team, I know there's the design, uh, design dolls. Um, please post your introduction for your stream team on this website as well. The creators on Twitch website is for, um, for highlighting all of the stream teams, all of the different communities out there. Uh, we're going to be making a creator's stream team, uh, but that does not mean that you guys can't use this website as well. <laughs> what you going to do with it? Hello, all of you amazing Stardust Meatballs. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I do see your follows and all of that. Uh, tonight's a secret broadcast where I'm trying to trying to get the the whole community, the whole hive mind to kind of put their thoughts on all of these topics about the future of the creative section uh, so one th one thing that we we kind of touched on was uh, new logo ideas. Uh, if you guys want to spam a bunch of new logo ideas, I'm gonna get some water real fast, and then we're gonna talk about logo ideas here. So one second, and don't forget to drink your water. Don't forget to get up and move around. That's what I'm doing right now. All right, be right back.
And as always, follow all of the moderators in this channel. They're all amazing, amazing broadcasters here on Twitch. Exotic wood logos. <laughs> uh, one thing for the logo would be really nice if it was uh, not exclusive. It wasn't just like, this is the one thing that we're advertising, like the paintbrush right now. So if you guys have any more ideas, I thought this would take an hour to go through the entire list I had here. You can also post below uh, here if you guys have any other questions for Twitch staff. Uh, if you guys have anything that you want to bring up uh, that I haven't talked about, uh, please feel free to bring it up. Especially all of you tattoo artists out there, if you guys have something to say to Twitch. Um, if you guys have any questions, this is a perfect time right now to kind of get... Uh, all of the all of the questions you have for Twitch staff, uh, anything else that you wanted to say. That was that was it, you guys. I thought it would take about an hour, but it didn't. Oh yeah, we should definitely get the chefs and all of you cooks to talk as well. Yeah, and Chef Nizzle, one thing one thing that you're finding out right now is that you are the first uh, wave of cooks here on Twitch. And a year from now, that struggle is not going to be happening uh, for cooks on here. Uh, yeah, go for it. Post links. Uh, I, there's no filters and no rules right now. More food art. And, that, and Rish, actually, that's a wonderful idea uh, to connect... Uh, Chef Nizzle with other with other viewers as and also bring other artists in here. And Swift Pro, you're absolutely right. If you guys don't know all of the the tattoo artists, all the tattoo artists on here who are gonna start streaming tattooing, uh, if it's officially allowed, please please raise your kappas up, raise your kappas up. Rish, I know you already do your tattooing on on here. Uh, Serve, I believe, is a tattoo artist. A chipman's gonna be doing food art. Wonderful. We need as many as many different facets of art as possible on Twitch. I mean, I I was talking about the blacksmith that that hasn't found out about Twitch or the puppeteer. Ink One, of course, Ink One is an amazing tattoo artist, and he hasn't been able to to share his work here on Twitch because he's a, he's afraid of uh, of what Twitch is gonna say because they haven't said no. They haven't said no. But there, there are some things to worry about um, with tattooing uh, right now. It doesn't follow the, the terms of service, which is one thing that, that Twitch has to address. They have to address the, the rules, and, and they're working on it, you guys. They're absolutely working on it right now. Yeah, Alien Ton X. Uh, why not puppeteering on Twitch? Why not ventriloquism? Why not uh, magicians? Well, why can't we have all of these different creative passions that that are shown here on Twitch. I mean, that that's a way to, to to show the world that that you can do what you love and share it with people. And not only are they going to support you, but they're going to watch and enjoy it. What's this link here? Yeah, and that would so what what would be really wonderful serve is is if. Um, Maybe we got the momentum to do a, a community uh, project where everyone designs a logo or their idea of what the logo should be for creative. And what we're going to end up with is maybe something similar with the Create a Kappa Mosaic, where we end up with all of these different mediums, you know, Photoshop, pen, painting, perler, oils, digital... Uh, you're gonna have all of these different logos to choose from. It might be it might be something that Twitch staff doesn't want to do, and they'll say no to. But the point of this video is to to basically throw ideas at them and to show them that there's there's hundreds of us, there's there's thousands of us here in the creative section, and we're we're making some amazing stuff that the world needs to see. Uh, yeah, and Unico, you're absolutely right. Uh, that that will highlight, or, or if you say Moss. And I do apologize that chat's going by fast, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be recorded for posterity in the future. And all of you creators out there, Beast Monelli, a, 
a a chef is a creator. A <sighs> there's so many di photography. There's so many different facets that haven't been shown yet on Twitch. Maureen creates absolutely very very broad right now. What is sexual? Subjects to the mod dealing with the situation. Even drawing topless men and girls in bikinis is against the rules. Uh, Maureen creates. That's actually technically against TOS. Uh, they say uh, no male nipples. Uh, of course, no female nipples. Uh, and uh, no suggestive clothing like bikinis or underwear. Uh, but that applies to the broadcaster. And that I, I don't know if that should apply to uh, artists, which is why you could maybe have a not safe for work label for the tattoo artists, uh, for the people who are drawing a, a study of David or, or a study of an old Greek sculpture that's, that's nude. Uh, maybe there's a way for you to hide your channel uh, even beyond the mature label. Mature probably means to Twitch that there's going to be swearing, there's going to be cursing, there might be trolling and hate. Um, but maybe there needs to be a new label for the creative section uh, where you can do something like tattooing and tattoo a foot, which tattooing a foot right now is is against TOS, and that's because you can't show your feet on camera. And all of these rules that don't apply to the creative section uh, need to be rewritten because there's there's eight tattoo artists in the channel right now that would be tattooing on on Twitch right now if they had the 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 confidence uh, that it's okay but they don't have the means to do it um, confidently because you guys haven't said, Twitch hasn't said yes or no. <laughs> and Rish, that's, that's also something that, that was a very situational thing. I think it was, I don't know the story behind it, but it, it probably became uh, all about uh, one broadcaster who, who, who did something and they had to write that in there. Yeah, you can't show feet. You have to do, um, you have to have socks on or shoes on or something like that. And it's the it's the same thing with with nipples, um, especially if you're drawing nipples. Uh, it it's it's not a sexual thing, uh, but it's probably not safe for work. It's probably maybe you need another label so that you can do this kind of content on Twitch. So if you guys have anything else that you guys want to bring up, anything else that you want to ask um, to me, to any of the other artists, um, whatever you guys want to do, you guys are crazy. All of the mod swords in the channel are artists. Please give all of the mods follows. Alien Ton, that's not true. I've always worn socks. <laughs> Don't don't bring that up in this video. Twitch staff is gonna see it. <laughs> uh, Saminos, yeah. And one thing I'm gonna bring up with Twitch staff is um, we have a, an incredible amalgamative consciousness, a a consciousness that is full of artists and and creators uh, from all these different crafts. And rather than saying to Twitch staff, give us a logo for the creative section what if we as a community made a a project where we said here here are the logos for the creative section these were made by the artists in the creative section <laughs> and you guys are you guys are all awesome thank you guys so much for hanging around i thought this would take an hour to go through it um but please feel free to bring up anything you guys want uh no filter mature mature content so be warned Yeah, eternity waits. I think it would be it would be an easy way for them to not have to address it in the larger community, uh, in the gaming community. They would say specifically for creators uh, on Twitch that are making content that's not safe for work. Um, they can label it that way, and that's that's something that doesn't have to happen now. That does, that's just something that uh, we need them to think about because there's there is nudity in art there is especially if you're building a figure or you're sketching a figure out it's going to be nude or, or or what about gore what about gory contact that that's not going to be safe for work but like in like in video games there's gore uh and blood in in drawing and painting
Logo should be one badass, big, bright, really to eat, easy to read, and stands out from all the cluster of game thumbnails. I agree, Val dudes. And and one thing uh, we've brought up to Twitch, um, and you know they they've actually said we're thinking about it, but uh, we want to see if the creative section is going to grow. But uh, separating the creative section out on the tab there on the left, uh, where you can see the games, channels, videos, and then separate from that is music, creative, programming, and all of those. Uh, Macho Man PvP, you cannot paint nudity on stream on Twitch right now. Painting nudity on stream right now is against TOS. Uh, we're, working, we're working our best to, to at least get that addressed... Um, specifically to us so that we have more we have more of an understanding of what we can do and what we can't do uh here on twitch uh as especially as as new streamers come in here uh they need to say if you read this list you'll know that you can't draw uh you know sexually suggestive content or you can't draw um porn or gore or you can't draw this unless you do these certain things uh, but I, Twitch, uh, this is something that Twitch has to understand, has to to figure out on their own. We're just bringing ideas to them uh, for how we want to see it shaped. And a chipman, yeah, uh, for cooking. I mean, for for anything, uh, for cooking, for um, for tattooing. That w I think what we need to do as as people that are teaching our craft, because. No matter what you think, uh, just by showing it to the world, you're teaching your craft. And all that means that you have to do is maybe put something in your info like, I'm a professional. Do not try this at home without either reading about it or learning about it or getting a degree in it, uh, depending on how dangerous your craft is. Because we have people now that are going to be coming onto Twitch, uh, like a woodworker or my, my video camera's been off this whole time. I've been gesturing to the camera this entire time. <laughs> uh, but we have, we have people like a woodworker who's going to be showing on Twitch um, how to work with, with band saws and table saws. And we have a responsibility to say, hey, look, you, th I'm a professional. Uh, don't try this at, 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 in your own home unless you're going to either learn about it or go to school for it or something like that. So... We do have a responsibility because we are teaching the world our, our passions and showing some amazing stuff to the world. Hello, Curse Jen. And by the way, you guys, please follow all of the mods. We have artists uh, and musicians and creators. Curse Jen's a programmer here on Twitch. Uh, X Ashler X works in paints. Valdudes works in oils. MTS Wood works in woodworking. Served as tattoo and drawing. And the list goes on and on. So please, please follow the mods. They're all incredible, incredible artists. So uh, we've gone through all of the material that I thought would take an hour. We're just kind of talking here today about the creative section and also all of the other sections here on Twitch um, that are, are in beta, essentially. So the music, programming, game development, and talk show sections. And if I, if I have not shouted uh, you out and you do stream here on Twitch... Uh, can you guys please say, I stream painting, or I stream acrylic? If I have not given you guys a shout-out, and your broadcasters out there... You know what? All the broadcasters out there, please, te please say in chat, I stream this. So, I stream painting. I stream painting. I want to see, see a wall of spam of all of the things that you guys stream uh, uh, out there. I want to see how many artists we have and see trio gaming i thought you did a i thought you did acrylic this is why this is awesome trio gaming you do oils see we have so many artists out there so many creators <laughs> digital work pen and ink drawing and games and you're a tattoo artist <laughs> so much so much amazing stuff and if you stream programming if you stream digital work if you stream music if you stream 3d modeling traditional art and streaming pencil oh my gosh there are so many amazing streamers here in the chat I, I wanted to give a big thank you out to all of you guys um, for for being here for streaming on twitch uh, as a streamer I know what it takes to to put yourself out there and and as 
I, I just wanted to say thank you guys because you guys are an inspiration to me uh, and we're, we're, we're doing something amazing here as a community and this is going to go amazing places. My cam is off again. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot. So you guys are so incredible and awesome. This was a, a super secret stream. Um, we're going to go raid somebody. We're going to go raid somebody. I'm going to use all of that footage that we just captured. We're going to send that all to Twitch. Um, but right now we're going to go raid someone. And this is going to be a different kind of raid. I hope you guys are ready for this because this is a raid that hasn't happened before on Twitch, I'm pretty sure. It's called a compliment raid. So maybe you're going to say, I like your colors and your brushwork. You have to say, slash me and then your compliment. So this is what our raid is going to be doing here today. Slash me and compliment. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the channel. You're going to say slash me and you're going to give her a compliment about her work. This is a compliment raid. Are you guys ready for this? I'm a mod in her channel. So if you guys start trolling, I am not afraid to do the ban hammer. Go into her channel. Give her a compliment raid. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We're going to be sending this off to Twitch staff, and we're going to be doing some amazing things here on Twitch. Here, I got to I got to think of my compliment. Oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. Okay, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy Amelith. She's a wonderful painter, and please follow any of the mods in my channel. Have a wonderful day. And a wonderful rotation on this fine planet. Goodbye. Goodbye.